New Living Translation Version of the Tyndale One Year Bible New Testament. January 3rd, Matthew chapter 3, verse 7, through Matthew chapter 4, verse 11, starting in Matthew chapter 3, verse 7. But when he, John the Baptist, saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to watch him baptized, he denounced them. You brood of snakes, he exclaimed, who warned you to flee the coming wrath? Prove, by the way you live, that you have repented your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we are safe, for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing, for I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now, the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. Verse 11. I baptize with water those who repent of their sins and turn to God. But someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not worthy to even be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He is ready to separate the chaff from the wheat with his winnowing fork. Then he will clean up the threshing area, gathering the wheat into his barn, but burning the chaff with never-ending fire. Verse 13. Then Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John tried to talk him out of it. I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, he said. So why are you coming to me? But Jesus said, It should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize him. After his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved Son, who brings me great joy. Chapter 4, verse 1. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. During that time the devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scripture says people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. For the scripture says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, The scriptures also say you must not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all of the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give you, I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him, for the scriptures say you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil went away, and the angels came and took care of Jesus. Thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Bless the hearing and the reading of the word. Amen.